Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. Today, I wanna to talk about injectors, or more specifically, why it's crucial that they're performing correctly, how to test them, and when to know to change them. So for those of you who don't know, injectors are these things up here in your engine block that are spraying fuel onto the pistons. Now it's so important that these are spraying correctly with a nice even vapor onto your pistons because if they're dribbling or squirting or opening before they should, they're gonna cause hot patches on your pistons and especially with the temperamental, or not temperamental, but the thinner layer, the thinner topped 1HZ pistons, this will end up burning holes in cracking pistons if you don't have your injectors performing correctly. So today I'm gonna take my old ones out we're gonna test them with a manual injector tester, which is very simple, dirt cheap, bit over $100. Um, I'll link one in the description down below. And then uh, we're gonna send them off and replace them and compare the difference. Now, before I get into this video, you should all know that this block has 485,000 Ks on it. And I'm pretty confident that these are the original injectors that I'll be looking at today. So not to worry, if you have done a few hundred thousand and you probably haven't changed them, chances are your injectors are gonna be fine. But if it's getting on a bit, around a similar age to mine, might be time to whip them out and just test them in case. They're pretty simple to clean up and a bit of a clean, which I'll cover lightly in today's video as well, um, will bring them back uh, to a better spray pattern, but sometimes it's just time to change them. And they're not expensive in 1HZs, maybe you know, 80 to $100 per injector uh, depending on if you're exchanging or not. Um, so yeah, let's get into the video. Okay guys, so to get to our injectors, we're gonna have to take all these injector lines off that run between the fuel pump and the injectors. Now, you can't just take these off in whatever order you want because unfortunately they only do come out in one order and they'll only go back on in one order. Now, the order to take the injectors off on the 1HZ is actually, oh, bit of frame rate stuff there, 351624 and I've drawn a little diagram of the fuel pump so you, you know um, what injector on the fuel pump, what injector line on the fuel pump goes to which injector. Um, yeah, so I'll be taking them off and putting them down in the sequence I took them off and then put them back on, obviously, in the reverse sequence. All right guys, so once we've removed our injector, we can come over here to our injector tester pump. And basically we screw that on the end here, pretty simple. We're gonna fill this canister with diesel and then uh, pump the fuel through the injector um, at a pretty high pressure. And uh, there should be a certain pressure when that opens up. I'm not exactly sure what that is yet. But basically the concept is that we'll see how the fuel's coming through the injector and whether it's vaporizing correctly and evenly or if it's spitting and dribbling, uh, which is obviously not right. So, and then we'll be able to determine whether uh, it's performing correctly or whether it's time for a new set. Because obviously if the diesel's dribbling out, it's gonna be dribbling onto our piston heads, which causes cracked pistons, which is not what we want. So let's find out. So this chattering sound that the injector is making is really good. That's what manual injectors are meant to do. And from this, we can see that it's holding pressure up until just under 2000 PSI, and then it's opening. And then when we give it a real hard push, um, we can see the spray pattern and you might notice here that it's not quite an even vapor. There's some direct lines in it, which aren't good. That means that the injector is kind of on the way out. This isn't terrible, but it's not perfect either. 
The nice thing about old cars is that some things like injectors are just pretty easy to uh, take apart and put back together. Um, there's just a few components in here and as long as you remember how you take it apart and put it back exactly the same, it should be fine. So I decided I'd take the injector apart, give it a bit of a clean up with some brake cleaner, give it a bit of a wipe down and then just as long as you lubricate the inners with diesel before you put it back together, you should be fine um, and it won't do the injector any harm. And then we can put it back on the tester again and see how it goes. This is a simple fix if you're not willing to fork out for new injectors. Um, but sometimes they have just had it and after 485,000, mine were just ready to be exchanged. All right, I've slowed the footage down a bit so we can get a better look and I'm still not incredibly happy with the um, direct lines, like the real um, spray pattern that is coming out of this injector. So I'm gonna send them off and get them exchanged for some reconditioned ones. All right guys, so here are my new injectors. They are so clean, look at that. Much better than the ones I sent off. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna chuck them on our tester, see if we can notice a difference in the spray pattern, and then we're gonna put them back on. So the first thing I notice with these injectors is that they're opening well over 2000 PSI, which is going to ultimately be better for the engine. And the spray pattern is heaps more of a vapor. I don't know if you can tell from this piece of footage, but it is heaps more even and less direct and dribbly than the old injectors were. So what I didn't realize is that I would have to replace a brass and a steel washer inside of the injector chamber there where it sits on the block. Um, it's not too hard if you've got one of these little picky tools or a little magnet for the steel one. Um, and there should be new washers sent with the new injectors to put here instead. So guys, once everything is put back together, all your hoses are tight on your air intake and everything, you may need to give the fuel a bit of a pump um, to get that fuel flowing back into the pipe, into the injector pump. And then of course, you'll just have to turn the key over. It may take a few turns because of course, the fuel's gonna get up into your injectors. Um, you've had all that out for a while now, all your injector lines are empty, but then you should just be able to turn it over. And it should be running again. So there you go guys, it's important to check your injectors because you don't want cracked pistons. You don't want your 18Z pistons to look like this. Anyway, I hope this video was of some help um, to you guys today. Uh, I do get asked a bit about injectors and uh, whether mine are any good because this cruiser is so old. Fact is it's only done 485 on the block technically, 620 on the body, but 485 on the block. Um, and yeah, they weren't too bad for that. I was expecting worse, but you know, still at that stage, they were ready to be exchanged. So anyway, please remember to subscribe, like, and share this with your friends. Um, I've got some more videos on the way. I know I've been a little bit slow lately, but there's some really cool stuff coming up. So stay tuned, keep your eyes on this channel, and I'll see you in the next video.